Ludwig van Beethoven is one of the classical giants. He composed 32 piano concertos, two of which we're seeing today, and his number three was performed almost entirely from memory, just like our contestants today. When you put a choice between Beethoven and Mozart, um, I mean, th there are a few Mozart concerti that people play all the time, but everybody plays Beethoven one or three at some point in their lives. For me, Beethoven number three is very, very emotional and very personal music. So it's, I have a very deep connection with this piece and I try to bring it out when I play concert. Uh, well, again, it was a first performance, mm -hmm. um, so there were things that were a little bit uncertain, but on the whole, I'm quite pleased with it, actually. My slow movement was, I think, quite a bit slower than it's normally played, so that could go either way uh, with the jury members, but I had some nice feedback, so we'll, we'll see. Regardless of whatever happens, I think this is a very incredible opportunity to play, to perform, because uh, it's all part of the, the main goal. The main goal is to make music, I think. I would like to go through, because uh, in the semi-final, uh, I, um, I would play uh, two, um, two works I love very much. And no one has chosen a Mozart concerto. Oh yeah, I was surprised because no one plays Mozart. <laughs> I think it's interesting. Why does no one play Mozart? I don't know, maybe they pick up just Beethoven people. <laughs> Beethoven is, is very special. I mean, maybe maybe sort of soulmate or something like that. Uh, I feel really, really many things in, in common with him. I mean, I don't want to sound arrogant, of course, I'm not Beethoven, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just something that, that keeps me, keeps the drive in his music. And I mean, it is so, so, so energetic and so, so powerful always. Done enough to go through to the semi-final? I have no idea. I haven't heard anyone. I don't know if the the small errors I had will um, annoy the jury or not, or if I did something else that made them forget about everything. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Quite difficult decision for us, but it's the voting worked out really very clearly. 
I'll go straight to the names. We've chosen six people. Florian Mitrian, Kwang Hong Lu, Scipioni San Giovanni, Garam Cho, Alexander Panfilov, and number 23, Daniel van der Hoven. So we have our semi-finalists. Tomorrow they're on their own. No accompanist, just one piano and their choice of music, as we get ever closer to finding out the winner of this year's Hastings International Piano Concerto Competition. Thank you.